In the past, users have used staging to edit sites and content without affecting the end user's experience. Since Liferay 7.3, publishing tools have seen a new evolution with publications. Publications has a richer feature set that better supports creating content for your sites and collaborating with others. In this video, we're going to talk about staging and publications and settle the debate on which tool you should be using. Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, thank you for watching. So answering the question, staging or publications? And simply put, you should be using publications for all use cases except one. And we'll talk about that one exception in a little bit. But let's dive into how publications is the better choice when it comes to publishing tools in Liferay DXP. Starting off, it gives you a better experience when creating content. Publications function at the instance or company scope of the platform, spanning across all of your sites and asset libraries. But with staging, it's restricted to just the site and asset library it's enabled in. With publications, you can create as many as you need to keep separate working environments for different projects, teams, or campaigns. But with staging, you only get one working environment to manage all of your site changes. In publications, you can easily review specific changes between your working and production environments, seeing exactly what has changed and how it looks compared to what's currently in your live environment. In staging, you can only view what is currently live with what's current in your staged environment. Next, when it comes to collaboration, publications comes out of the box with a more robust feature set that empowers users to better work together. By default, a publication is only accessible to its creator, but if you want the help of others, you're able to invite users and assign them specific roles that are pre-configured based on how much you want them to contribute to a publication, giving you flexibility on how much or how little someone can do. Staging is a shared environment where users contribute together based on their roles and permissions. Liferay does not come with any pre-configured roles for staging, giving admins the task of having to create roles that are comparable to the ones we already have out of the box with publications. Users are also given the ability to leave comments on blocks of changes, giving users more tools to work together asynchronously in the publication itself. Talking about our last big reason to use publications is the much richer set of features you get out of the box. When it comes to your changes, publications keeps a detailed history of all published changes made in each version of your publication, so you will always have a record of what's changed. If you need to roll back your changes for content, publications allows you to. So if there's ever a situation where things go live before they're ready, you can retract those changes and get back to where you were. Now the question remains, what is that specific use case that you should use staging instead of publications? And that is when you need to host your working and production environment on separate servers. At the recording of this video, separate servers are not supported with Liferay's publications. Unfortunately, if you want to separate your production from your development environments, you need to use staging to achieve that. That is your one reason right now to use staging over publications. Otherwise, publications is going to be your best option. I hope this settles the debate for you. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.